Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're diving into Binance Futures, one of the largest and most trusted platforms for leveraged crypto trading. However, keep in mind that Binance Futures isn't available in every region. So if you're having trouble in trading, I recommend checking out my favorite alternative, MEXC Exchange. If you're brand new, you'll find both Binance and MEXC links right below in the description. Each link automatically applies the latest welcome bonuses, so you can start trading with fee rebates or extra rewards from the Rewards Hub right away. Okay, a quick refresher. A perpetual future tracks the price of an underlying asset, but never expires. You can go long if you expect the price to rise, or short if you think it will drop. Since you're trading contracts rather than the coins themselves, you can set your leverage anywhere from one times up to the maximum your trading pair allows. On Binance's USDT margin contracts or USDC, profits and losses settle in USDT or USDC. This stable cryptocurrency is equal to the real US dollar. All right, let's jump straight into the futures interface. I'll assume you already know how to create an account and add some funds. And if you don't, no worries at all. You can find every guide you need right here on my channel. Okay, head to Futures from the main menu. The interface is intuitive. Market selector and chart in the center, live order book and depth chart on the right, and your positions and order history below. The order panel lets you choose market or limit orders with an easy quantity box. Right above, you will find the margin mode. Cross uses all your USDT to back every open trade, while Isolated limits risk to that single position. If you're a beginner, always start with Isolated. Next to it, you'll find the leverage control. Drag the slider or type your desired value, from a cautious one buy to the maximum supported by your pair. Let's talk a bit about leverage more. For example, if you have $100 and use 20 times leverage, you'll be able to trade with $2,000. So basically, you can open a long position worth $2,000 as if you just bought Bitcoin for that amount. Now, if the price goes up by just 5%, your profit will double your initial $100. That's a 100% gain if you close the trade at the right time. But of course, it's not all sunshine and profits. The risks go up just as fast. If the price drops 5%, you'll lose your entire $100. And in reality, it happens even sooner because the exchange liquidates your position before it reaches that full 5% loss. So whenever you're using higher leverage, always open the built-in liquidation calculator, like the one you see on the screen, and type in your trade parameters. You'll instantly see your liquidation price. The higher the leverage, the closer that liquidation point gets. Watch this. As I lower the leverage, the liquidation price moves further away giving much more room for the trade to breathe. It's crucial to know where that level is so you can set your stop loss slightly above it. That way, even if the trade goes against you, you won't lose your entire deposit, because once you get liquidated, your balance is gone completely. Guys, I know it might sound a bit complicated, but don't worry. Once you start practicing, everything becomes much clearer. The best way to learn is to start small, with a tiny amount you're comfortable with. Or even better, use the demo trading mode. Say you're bullish on Ethereum. Select the ETH pair, choose Limit, enter a price below spot, and set your order size, maybe $100. Check your liquidation price. If it's too close, reduce your leverage and make sure you're using isolated margin. I do not recommend using leverage greater than three times. Okay, add a stop loss a few percent below your entry point, but above the liquidation price. Click Buy slash Long, Confirm, and your order will appear under Open Orders. Once filled, it moves to Positions, showing real-time PNL. If you forgot to set Stop Loss or Take Profit, just click the TP slash SL button in the Positions tab and add them later. Binance keeps these as conditional orders, so they'll execute even if you're offline. You'll also see the funding rate countdown above the order book. If longs are dominant, they'll pay shorts at the next interval, or vice versa still every eight hours for most pairs. Keep this small fee in mind for multi-day trades. Closing your position is just as simple. Use market to close instantly or limit close to aim for a better price and possibly pay lower maker fees. And if you didn't know, the fee is multiplied by the leverage size. Exchanges bill that charge twice, once when you open, once when you close. So over time, it eats a nasty hole in your P&L. With a lower maker rate, every limit order you drop into the book on Binance costs less, 
so be sure to place limit orders if possible. If you still do not understand what futures trading is and how to make money here, let's look at an example like this. For example, Bitcoin costs $100,000 and you have only $100. And for example, you take X125 leverage. So you buy Bitcoins for $12,500. Then, Bitcoin rose to $125,000. You close the deal, and you get $3,125 in profit. That's really cool. But there is one thing. If this price drops to $99,200, you will lose your $100. So it's very risky to trade here. You can minimize the risks by setting stop loses and take profits you set a stop-lose value to prevent the loss of all your money. Like if the price drops to 99850 you will lose only $20 instead of $100, and you will be able to continue trading. Take profit is the price when the order closes automatically. You need this so you don't miss out on a good closing price. And so guys, don't forget to use the link from the description to activate the promo offer, and good luck. See you in the new videos.